come back. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of... Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. Finished, are you? The stew's awfully full. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. You said. I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. How do you split the sea? Reckon when... How may I help you today, Clive? Here you are. Best of luck out there, Sid. Dory should be somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. The world seems to be changing so fast lately I can hardly keep up. I've got greens of all. <sighs> Just because the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin, it don't mean we have to. Still hurt, does it? It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid, 
What brings you to Martha's Rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own, tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away, and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So... Was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort. Which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid, but I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. This is no time to ride. Slaver, I wonder. We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste. Lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Yes, Mom. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Kill him. You're welcome to try. So much for your escort. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. I surrender. Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. Sid! Ah, Doris. 
I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade. You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman, my former master, once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter, and I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible, surely. We had our fun, too. You were always so eager to learn, and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. That's why I kept you for my own. How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause to liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. And she no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. All right. If you're certain. I am. And thank you. For everything. Now, I better let these bearers know that they're safe. And I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and your letter. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. Went quietly, or so we're told. And she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be all right. I hope so. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. The curse breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole.